This related rates problem is going to involve some tricks, so get ready. Hot air balloon rising straight up from a level field is tracked by a rangefinder 500 feet from the liftoff point. At the moment, the rangefinder's elevation angle is pi over 4. Okay, let's, let's stop right there and let's draw a picture by this. The balloon is rising straight up from a lever, level field, and this is going to be the situation. The balloon is going to be right here. It's rising straight up. And over here you got some rangefinder that is uh, tracking that. And we're talking about an angle of elevation, technically is what they're giving us here. Elevation angle is angle of elevation. And so it says it's trapped by a rangefinder 500 feet from the liftoff point. So liftoff point is right here. This person's 500 feet away. So I'll put 500 over there. And then uh, at that point, we're going to have a pi over 4. But for right now, let's just go ahead and label it as a theta because we want to get some kind of a trig function that relates this information. How fast is the balloon rising at that moment? Okay, I'm going to use a y over here to indicate the, uh, the vertical distance. We want to come up with a relationship with this particular triangle. In particular, I have an angle and I have an opposite and I have an adjacent side. So, based on trig definitions, I can say that tangent theta is equal to y over 500. Or, when I multiply both sides, I can get y is equal to 500 tan theta. That's actually going to be the uh, formula that I'm actually going to use here on this particular problem. Okay, so in this case, we're given that our theta is pi over 4. Now let's read on. The angle is increasing at a rate of 0.4 radians per minute. That is going to be our d theta dt is 0.14 radians per minute. How fast is the balloon rising? That's going to be our dy dt. That's what we're going to get when we take the derivative of this with respect to time. So I'm going to get dy dt here. That's taking that derivative with respect to time. Let's do the same thing for the right hand side. 500, derivative of tangent is secant squared. So I have secant squared theta and then d theta dt. Okay, now that I have this complete, let's start putting in information that's been provided in order to find dy dt. Okay, so dy dt is equal to 500, and then basically I'm gonna do secant of pi over four squared that's your secant squared there, and then times 0.14. And if I just work this out, that's going to give us the answer. Okay, so if I do secant pi over 4, same thing as 1 over pi, cosine of pi over 4. Cosine of pi over 4 is uh, root 2 over 2. So if you take the reciprocal and rationalize, this is what you get. You actually get a square root of 2 uh, for that one. So secant pi over 4, again, is uh, 1 over the cosine. If you work that out, you get square root of 2. If you work the rest of this out, you'll get 500. This will be 2 because it will get rid of the radical. That's 1,000 times 0.14, which means it will move the decimal place three places over. That means that 140 is going to be your answer. Now, 140 is going to be in terms of feet per minute. It's feet because the 500 that was given here is in terms of feet. And the unit of time is minutes that we got from this one over here. So this should be rising at 140 feet per minute.